Welcome back to Studio 701. Well, the K9 unit per, uh, performs public demonstrations across the 701, but it's for more than just entertainment. That's right. Our very own Bismarck Police K9 unit was recently featured on American Heroes Outdoors. Let's take a look. I always wanted to be a K9 because you can see the effort you put into your product there. You can see your partner you get a lot better with as you get better. It's fun using a dog to find narcotics or finding a bad guy, making the city safe. You see your hard work and dedication pay off with the work you put into your K9 team. And Sergeant Lyle Sinclair and Officer Joseph Banky are joining us now, along with K9 Mesa, who we can hear breathing hard over there. <laughs> thank you all for being with us today. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Yes, thank you. And so American Heroes Outdoors, so they did the story on you guys with your training seminar last year. So where was this filmed? And I mean, what kind of training were you guys doing? It was at Buckstop Junction, and it's part of our yearly seminar where we bring in out-of-state instructors to teach us new ideas and how to keep the officer, the dog, the public, and everyone safe. And so we're out there doing like a tactical training or tracking if we're looking for someone that's fled from the police, give guys different ideas, uh, and hopefully they take it back to their departments and work with their other coworkers more. And so that's kind of what our plan was. We're not only watching a dog's reaction to human odor and how the officers react and uh, make sure the guys you know, have a plan before they go out in the field. It's kind of the big thing we wanted to stress to everyone. Very cool footage there. I love that drone shot above head, you know, at Buckstop Junction. Officer Banky, what did you get from this training experience and what do you think Mesa got from it? Um, really just learning to, like our, getting better with our tracking and then using our cover officers too, making sure they're in the right spot, making sure we're not out of place and kind of exposing ourselves before our backup gets around corners and stuff like that. So. Really that tactical and using the canine. Definitely. Now, all of this training, of course, does cost some money. So we're going to talk about a fundraiser in a way that you can help support the Bismarck Canine Unit. And it has to do with Pizza Ranch, where I guess you guys will actually be bussing tables. Yes. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so I actually contacted the Pizza Ranch because they do community impact events for different types of groups. and. Just to kind of demonstrating in our community, and I contacted them, and we actually have a set up on Monday from five to nine. We'll be bussing tables, bringing out the pizzas, cleaning up after everybody, and the people who come in, um, just for coming in, ten percent goes to our canine program, and then they tell us, you know, oh we're here for the canine program, we get an extra ten percent, so a possible total of twenty percent, and we'll be there, you know, answering questions. We'll have decoys, bussing tables too, and different handlers, so. If you guys have canine questions, we can answer those at that time. Nice. Will the canines be with? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. We'll keep them at home yeah. Monday night. That would be chaotic, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but talk to us about the need for more training with the canine unit and some of the importance of having these canine officers in our community. Well, there's a lot of factors with the dogs that they're a force multiplier. They can search rooms faster, safer than officers. And like Officer Banky was saying, at our training, it was not only just the dogs that got trained, it was the handlers and our backup officers so we can work together as a team. That's huge. It's, people think, oh, you've got a dog, you should know what to do. Well, no, every dog's different, every officer's different, every situation's different. And we bring in this training to kind of show other guys, you know, different scenarios. You have a plan A, plan B, plan C, and it affects us not only working with the canine but other aspects of law enforcement where we have good training and good plans to put in action just we're lucky enough that we through our canine can bring in outside guys to do that that's not just canines it's our whole team concept that's why we always bring the decoys some of these guys you see here are handlers and some guys are decoys and decoys are very important to us too so and you can kind of see what what they're doing like in the screen where they're going around the building around the corner it doesn't mean you got to run super fast to get after them. So it's kind of teaching everyone to, you know, what to do, pre-plan, and then execute your plan. I have a question. What, what do you mean when you're saying a decoy? Well, it's a, a term that the, the dog's going after, the guy in the equipment or the, ah. the quarry. It's what the dog's chasing to simulate the bad guy that we're looking for. Uh, it's kind of a term we use in police work. and. Sometimes they have equipment on, sometimes they don't, and sometimes the dog's in muzzle, and sometimes it's other stuff. And it's a lot more intense than 
uh, people would realize I could probably talk about it for eight hours straight and <laughs> still not even touch the surface. So it's, it's, it's good training for the guys to come in and then that's our future handlers. So they come in with kind of an idea how much work it takes and what they need to do and uh, have to be a good team. So are you saying the decoys might be busting tables wearing the full, like, padded <laughs> outfit? No, those are pretty, uh, pretty full okay. of dog slobber in here, but they'll, there'll be guys there, so there'll be plenty of guys there that can de answer questions. Our decoys uh, have a lot of training, too, so they're pretty knowledgeable on the police canine world. Very awesome. cool. Well, guys, thanks again for everything you're doing to serve our community. We really do appreciate it. Well, absolutely. Thanks, thanks for, having for having us. us. Hope to see you Monday. It's our pleasure. And once again, Monday, May 23rd, if you go to Pizza Ranch, you can support local law enforcement canine unit from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Sounds like a lot of fun and for a great cause, too. So coming up next, it can be hard.